Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of machine learning, specifically looking at the two fundamental types, supervised and unsupervised learning, which I've placed inside my courses, such as the CAI MLP, which you'll see details on the screen, and the GPTP version two course as well, which is leveraging AI with Python. And um, whether you're a budding sort of data scientist or just a curious person when it comes to like a professional when it comes to artificial intelligence, this video will shed some light on these essential sort of concepts that are very important, which make up the crux of artificial intelligence and machine learning today. So let's get started. Welcome back everyone, it's Demetrius here from OBPixel and today we're going to discuss uh, topics that I have under my brand OB Academy and it's specifically a small little subset of topics that I have inside my courses as I've mentioned to you, so let's get into it. So before we begin and go into supervised learning and unsupervised learning, let's just very briefly mention, okay, what is machine learning? What's the, what's the, 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 the linchpin of what makes artificial intelligence work? Machine learning really is a subset of artificial intelligence that basically enables systems to learn and improve from experience without being explicitly and necessarily programmed. So to give you an analogy, it's like a ch um, teaching a child through examples and experiences. Okay, so now let's break down the two main types of machine learning, supervised and unsupervised learning. All right, so the segment, uh, the first segment is supervised learning. All right, so first up, this method is like a guided sort of teaching process. So in this case, we provide the model with input and output pairs, okay? Input and output pairs, or in a way, technical terms, labeled data, okay? And the goal is for the model to learn a mapping from all these inputs towards the outputs. So essentially, we're predicting the outcome for new and unseen data, okay? Supervised learning. So think of it as a student learning path. You give them problems, the inputs, and solutions, the outputs. And over time, they learn to solve similar problems on their own. So in supervised learning, we have two main tasks, regression, prediction or predicting a continuous value essentially and classification so we identify which categories an input belongs to okay so examples include say predicting house prices which is essentially regression and diagnosing diseases from x-rays which is classification okay so all that falls under supervised learning and with a segment two, when it comes to unsupervised learning, let's talk about this process. So unlike supervised learning, right, unsupervised learning deals with the unlabeled data, the unknowns, okay? The, the system tries to learn the underlying patterns and structure from the data itself that you give it, in other whatever whatever data it has available, without any explicit instructions. So this is a little bit more intuitive for the AI, but it does take longer to work. So common unsupervised learning tasks are like clustering, okay, where we group similar items together, and association, where we identify the rules that basically describe large portions of data. So imagine organizing a library of books without a predefined category in the system. So things, things like you don't have a category, you can't really analyze anything very easily. So that's unsupervised learning in action, essentially. See the difference between supervised and unsupervised? So supervised, you give it a very defined instructions or set of instructions, a defined set of inputs and outputs, and it has to do prediction 
to try and work out the outcome. Unsupervised learning, it's essentially, well, they don't have the necessary um, labeled data. It's not known data. So there's a, a fair amount of understanding of patterns and prediction to figure out what's happening because there are no instructions. So in this last little bit here, in terms of the use cases of uh, supervised versus unsupervised learning, well, supervised learning is really more straightforward, okay, and it's goal oriented, you know, you've got a certain amount of milestones you have to reach. And unsupervised learning can uncover sort of hidden patterns and insights from the data. All right, unlike having the data inputs and the outputs, and you have to do a predict prediction process in between to figure out what's happening. Unsupervised learning can actually figure out hidden insights, hidden secrets in the data, which can be quite incredibly valuable in understanding very complex phenomena, things that you can't really solve very easily. Supervised learning is widely used in applications like facial recognition, uh, for example, where uh, you know we train the model with known faces, okay? And then it figures out the patterns in the face because it's a known face, it's in the system. On the other hand, unsupervised learning is great for customer segmentation and marketing, for example. It helps, um, it helps a business tailor their strategies to different customer groups. And that's pretty cool when it comes to unsupervised learning. So to sum up, supervised learning works with labeled data for specific prediction tasks right predicting kind of tasks and unsupervised learning really explores the structure of the data and tries to find patterns and make information out of that out of that particular data structure so more crucial roles in the world of machine learning and ai are adopting uh, this kind of supervised and unsupervised learning and in many combinations of the two, okay? A lot of the applications use combinations of the two, obviously. So I just wanted to give you a quick little rundown of these two types of, of uh, machine learning, very brief information. It's a small little tiny subset of the five-day courses that I've built in the last couple of years, uh, last five years. And um, this is one of the sections that we really dig deep into and we go into the real intricacies and details and the breakdown of all of the different techniques inside the CI MLP course that I've mentioned earlier and obviously the GPTP version 2 course as well. And um, if you like uh, the video and you want to learn a little bit more, just click the details on the screen or go to the website and um, if you're more interested in more videos, please go ahead and look at the rest of the videos. If you would like to share this video, go ahead, no problem, I appreciate that. And also, if you want to take this further and enroll in the course, there are some limited space still left. If you're interested, the details will be on the screen. Um, and I hope to see you online in the training. Currently, we have a 25% discount on all the courses. So, you know, let us know if you're interested and thank you for your time. This is a very quick, brief video on supervised learning versus unsupervised learning, a small little subset that's part of machine learning and the different models, and it is available in our AI courses. Once again, my name is Demetrius from OB Pixel, and today from our brand OB Academy, and I am signing out.